Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing super. I'm Dr. Tonkin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What brings you in today? Well, I'm in a lot of pain. Okay. Where are you in pain? Back and neck, mainly. And what happened? I was in a car wreck a little over a year ago, a really, really bad car wreck, and I'm still trying to get over it. What, um, psychologically or physically, you're trying to get over it? Probably a little bit of both. And um, what have they told you is wrong with your neck and back? Um, just a lot of pulled muscles, maybe some displacement. Have you been to physical therapy? No, they gave me a couple of stretches to do. Have you, they took MRIs and stuff and everything looks good that, that way? Yeah. And you, have you had injections into your neck? Have you seen a surgeon? No. A chiropractor, anything? No, not really. They just gave you some stretches? Yeah. Are you taking any medications for it? Yeah, my doctor gave me some Oxy. Okay. Your family doctor? Yes. And how much Oxy is he giving you, Oxycodone? Yes. Um, I take about, he, he gave me about six a day. Okay. And do you know how many milligrams or anything like that? I think 30. 30. Yeah. And how many are you actually taking? Well, it depends. It depends on the day. Some days are a lot worse than others. Um, on a good day, I'm taking six or seven. Okay. On a bad day, on a really bad day, I'll take sometimes 10 or 11. Gotcha. And you're running short on medications? Yeah, and he's not too happy about prescribing me more. Absolutely. Do you think you might have a little problem or anything like that? Maybe. Has he ever sat down and explained to you how much medication you're actually taking? No. So there's the government's come out with regulations and their recommendations on maximum amount of narcotics. Mm -hmm. And if you have everything in the world wrong with you, they're, except for like cancer or something, their maximum dose is 60 milligrams of oxycodone a day. And that's a lot of medicine at 60 milligrams. Yeah. Most people, they want under 30 milligrams a day, but they want you to be going to physical therapy, getting injections if you need mm -hmm. surgery, chiropractic care, whatever we need to do. But now you're taking, oh lordy, um, 10 times 30 is 300, five times the legal limit. Yeah. Um, which is, is crazy. So number one is we don't want you to die, we won't want you to overdose because the amount of medication is is very, 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 very high and very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is you're not, even though it's a kind of excessive amount of medication your doctor's prescribing, you're not following his directions. Yeah. It kind of, kind of seems like you've lost control on how you're using it. Mm -hmm. So um, we might be looking at, yeah, we can address your pain and see what we can do to alleviate your pain, but there might be something more going on. Possibly okay. something called opioid use disorder. So we can diagnose opioid use disorder by looking at something called the DSM-5 mm -hmm. um, criteria for opioid use disorder. Okay. There's 11 questions we need to address and we can actually see if you have opioid use disorder. But um, just from the short amount of time I've spent with you, there's probably a highly, high likelihood that you might have that. Okay. Um, and if you do, we can actually get you some treatment. Number okay. one, to take care of your, your pain. But number two is to actually get you off these um, dangerous medications. Okay. Um, 60% of people or two-thirds of people that are actually prescribed medicines um, uh, or excuse me, 60% of the people that die from pain medicines are actually following their doctor's directions. Mm -hmm. You're not even following your doctor's directions Yeah. and you're using excessive amount of medications. So number one is we need to um, start decreasing those amount of medications immediately and get you some help with probably the overuse and abuse of these medications. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good.